is uh, probably about uh, five or six to the north and east of me, probably past Dallas by now, Mike, uh, toward the Ives Airport and uh, going toward Carney. So, Carney, you're in the bullseye for this. Uh, folks, you're going to want to take your tornado precautions, definitely. But, Mike, I really cannot make out any structure down to the cloud, uh, down to the ground because it is so dark and rain wrapped back in there. And uh, that just really tells me that some bad things are going on on the ground level. As we've already seen back here off of uh, Pottawatomie Road, uh, it took out uh, some power poles and a pump jack station, and it had a lot of tree damage as it was going off to the north and the east, uh, pulling out of the Arcadia area. Back to you, Mike. Yeah, let's go to Reed Timmer live. Reed? Reed Timmer. Go, Reed. Hey, guys. Go on. Reed is tracking that. There you go. You're in Velocity 2 here, see that? That's a big That's a big couplet. Northeast of Blanchard, there's a big couplet going on right now. Northeast side of Blanchard, Emily is there. Emily's monitoring us on our uh, mobile app and also on the two-way on radio. Uh, Emily Sutton, for you folks in Norman, uh, there is a strong couplet developing on the northeast side of Blanchard. There's no tornado warning right now, but this is a major heads up for Norman. This is a major heads up for Norman. Let's go to the uh, let's go to the let's go to the uh, north top and the south top here. Let's take a look. This is a major heads up for Norman, right here. This is a this is a strong couplet on the northeast side of Blanchard, and it is heading for Norman. Here's Norman right here. So let's hope we don't get tornadic activity rolling into Norman. This is a, that's a strong couplet. There, that's one step away from a tornado warning couplet right there. Northeast side of Blanchard on Highway 9, Riverwind Casino. Riverwind Casino right here. It's heading right for the Riverwind. It's heading, heading right for Norman. That is a strong couplet right there. In fact, that's going gate to gate right there. Gate to gate, which is right next to each other like this. That is approaching rapidly. Tornado warning criteria. Let's go to the uh, south dock and take a look at it. Uh, here it is right here. It's over Blanchard. The big hail's over South New castle this does not look good for norman also cole goldsby washington noble south newcastle highway nine riverwind casino emily sutton is down there no tornado warning right now but there's a strong couplet on the east side of blanchard rolling directly toward norman conditions are very favorable for tornadoes to develop in that storm along with baseball and larger size hail in the purple so we'll check in with emily here momentarily she's right there looking at it Right Say that there. again. Let's go to I'm Emily here. live. Go, Emily. Yeah, Mike, um, we, we just got up to the storm. You can see the uh, the base of the, the clouds is definitely a lowering. And into the distance, I can see what could likely be the big hail core. We just heard a ping of hail, actually, out ahead of the storm. We're looking at Highway 9, uh, a little bit further west of I-35. I wanted to continue to track this along Highway 9 as it heads towards very populated areas. So I've been watching some uh, inflow into this storm, and we're starting to get a little bit of hail right now. So we're probably going to start tracking these. Okay, Emily, appreciate that. Emily is reporting from Norman. Uh, she is ahead of that storm. Emily, it looks like that couple is going to probably cross uh, uh, near Highway 9 or maybe on the southern sides of Highway 9. It's a strong velocity couple on the eastern side of Blanchard right now. If it keeps on its current track, uh, that missile cyclone you're looking at there, that'll travel near Highway 9 and I-35 or maybe just south of the river a little ways. Very close to Riverwind is where that is heading uh, and pretty much right toward Norman and Noble and Goldsby is where that is headed. And it's a strong couple again, located just about three miles south-south uh, west of our Doppler site uh, down in the, the South Newcastle area. Let's go back to uh, the, uh, the Kearney area with this large violent tornado with Bob Moore Chopper 4. John? Okay. You're on, John. Go, John. You're on. Live report from John Welsh near Kearney. Yeah, I can hear him. I guess. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, right now we're uh, you know, we're still following the storm. We're over the uh, lake that's here right there by Chandler. And uh, it's pretty much almost wrapped itself up in rain as far as we can see. Um, uh, you can probably tell better on the the radar as far as if it's actually still on the ground. But as I turn here and uh, give you a shot, it's from what we're seeing, it's just like a complete wall of rain. So I don't know if, if there's still a tornado in there tearing up damage. I haven't seen any power flashes in a while. Or in a while, I'll say, you know, four or five minutes. But uh, it is definitely just kind of consolidating into one big wedge that uh, is just going to be just right now north, uh, northeast of uh, Chandler, Mike. Okay.
Okay, John, appreciate that. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at where the tornado is based on velocity. It's back in this soup. You know, and that's what makes these... More power flashes. Yeah, okay, hold on. Let's, let's, let's look here. More power flashes. You know, that's what makes it's these... Really that's what makes these wedges so dangerous. They get so low, and they, they start pulling in so much humidity that you can't see them. And, and, they, and they look like literally fog banks, you know, or clouds on the ground. But I can guarantee you, looking at velocity, there's a tornado in there. There's just no doubt about it. There's the tail cloud coming in. So it, it's 